I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. I, wow. Like, wow. What's going on YouTube? Jump and Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And if you guys haven't been following me on my IG and watching my story, I did post on there that yes, I have been scammed. That is right. I've been scammed. I haven't been scammed in like, in a long time. Like the last time I believe I got scammed was when I basically started doing YouTube. That's how I got started because I got scammed. I bought some fakes that I didn't know was fakes. And and that's kind of got me like, you know, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. But you know, lately I've been doing a lot of deals as a sneaker YouTuber and just sneaker heads in general, man. We're like, we always do deals. We always buy from other people. You know, I always try to help everyone out. You know, if you guys haven't seen my uh, saving lives and uh, when I go to like events and stuff like that, like sneaker con and when I see like people getting scammed, like I try to save people and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I did. I, I admit it. I got got. That's right. I haven't got gotten a long time. I never thought like almost in in a million years, I would have never thought that I so, like one of my followers or subscribers would have scammed me. I would have never thought that. Not in a million years, but hey, it was a big wake up call. It was definitely a big wake up call. It was a little bit my fault. I should have I should have been a little more careful. I should have followed my steps that I tell you guys so much, but I got too comfortable. I got too comfortable, and I just kind of let the, you know. I, I wasn't that alert and I wasn't, you know, I didn't pay too much attention to it. I just kind of just, I just let the motion go and just, it just happens, man. It sucks. But yeah, I got scammed. I got scammed. I've been buying a lot lately. I've been buying from a lot of people a lot lately. We try to make some deals, you know, negotiate here, that use, you know, stuff like that. I usually, you know, since I do have a name, I usually do uh, GUA gift upon arrival like usually people ship out the shoes to me and then I pay them I've done that a lot lately people out here they can vouch for me that I'm very trustworthy you know there's something like that I would never try to ruin my rep so I feel like you know since I do have a name you can trust me that I will send the money after I get the shoes I should have just went with my gut but like I said I just thought in nine a million years one of my followers would have like scammed me but hey is all right, let me tell you this story here. Yeah, I, if uh, you guys have noticed that I did take a W on the tie-dyed ones, but this is for wifey pair. Wifey won her size, wifey won <laughs> both her, and I won her her size again. And that's so why I'm looking for my size. I look for my pair. You guys know it's a women's shoe. I'm looking for about a size 10, half, or 11, which I still am. So the subscriber uh, hit me up in the DMs on IG. He said, hey, Chris, big fan of yours, just one let you know that if you're interested in a size 10 and a half in the tie dyes not sure if you're wanting them but willing i am willing to sell them for about 280 just looking at the stock x that they're going for 320. uh i just can't stand doing business with them let me let me know if you see this i was like 280 ship sir yes you know he hit me up the next freaking day <laughs> took him 24 hours to reply that's when i kind of should have Yes, uh, I think they're dope, but they're not my size. I was like, do you have them in hand? You know what people's gonna think about, well, what, what, they're going for 320, he said 280, that should be your first uh, giveaway. No, not really. A lot of times I looked at the payout, the payout was a little bit like 270 or so, like 270, 275. And that's what I, I usually do anyways. Like I try to offer like a little bit over payout and so on and so forth. Or some people are just like that, they'll just take payout. I said, okay, I want them. Uh, you're good, bro. Trust me with all this sneaker, blah, blah. My skin ain't too thin. Trust me. I get a lot of hate. Yeah, I hear that. I can only imagine all sorts of things. Awesome. I'm glad you want them. I think it's kind of cool. Watch your videos for a while and now you're, I'm selling you a pair. So how do you do this? I have my ways. I usually sell. I'm not sh I'm sure you do. Let me know. I'm at work. I'll get back to you when I can. I was thinking maybe this guy is just busy all the time. That's why he doesn't reply so quickly. All right. All right, let me know. I got you. Thank you. Uh, he hit me the next day. You have Google Pay? And what do you, uh, pref any preference of uh, shipping wise? I know I said 280 ship, but uh, UPS, FedEx, or, you know, so, uh, postal service, let me know. I just got home. Sorry for the late response. I could ship, I could ship them tomorrow if we're still good. And I can send you driver license too for trust reasons. I usually do it on Facebook market if uh, buyers want it. At first when he asked me for a driver license, I was kind of like, say what? what, what? 
What does that, what does that mean? Anyways, okay, would, I asked him, would you do GUA, GIF upon arrival? You know, I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, hey, sorry, I completely passed out. You know, he's always with the late, late excuses. See, this should have been my first freaking hint right here. This dude never, like, respond so quick. I, I completely passed out on the message on you. I, uh, I'm joining the military and I did this stupid long workout recruiting and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, no disrespect. No disrespect. I completely understand if it makes you not want to buy them. I refuse to use PayPal anymore. They totally screwed me before and held $1,500 uh, of mine for 90 days because the buyer never confirmed receiving the item I sold them. I think the buyer would have said they got never got them. After four weeks, end up calling, in, calling, in, and when they, and that's when they put it on hold for 90 days. Even though I had proof of almost everything they could have needed, so nothing personal. Uh, I, I just won't. So I get it. If you, if that changes things, I found Google Pay, pay the most reliable and security sources. Let me know if you understand. Uh, I understand if that doesn't, uh, if that's not gonna work for you. See, when he said to me about Google Pay, I was kind of like hesitant. I should be like, what? I'm not going to pay you Google Pay. First of all, I don't even have Google Pay. So why would I pay you Google Pay? And not only that, Google Pay, I'm pretty sure it's not even like secured. Like no, nothing at all. Like how much, if you were to screw me, how am I supposed to get my money back? You know, usually I never do cash out Venmo, Zilla to people I don't know. I just don't, I'm not gonna do that. This dude just hit me up. I don't know this dude from freaking, from anywhere. I said to him, pay out only, I'm, or PayPal only. I'm only doing PayPal, bro. I told him, I can do whatever payment you want. So I don't mind doing whatever payment, uh, but I'm saying since you don't use PayPal, I can do this, but I can do this. As in like, I can, sh uh, you ship the shoe first. Once I get them, I'll pay you whatever you want. That's GUA. And he said, no. Okay, I guess, you know, he, he said, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Chris. I don't know if I can do that. This is, this would, this would reply to anyone. It's just that it's with all this crazy thing right now and people having packaged missions, I can't risk it. I trust you, but if anything happens to the Jordans before you get them, I'll be completely screwed. I know that probably doesn't work for you, but that's how I want to do business. Like at least at your end, you can request the money back. I'm not a scammer. I'm joining. I'm joining Air Forces. Air Forces. I will send you my DL uh, photo if that makes you feel safe. But I don't know why this dude want to keep selling me a freaking photo of him or ID. I don't give a damn about anything of you, bro. Or do I need any of your information? Just send me the freaking shoes. It's it's it's, it's not that complicated. I don't need to trust or whatever. I mean, that's what, what are we talking about? I don't know. He can send me a fake ID of someone else I don't even know about. Anyways. You act like I'm a scammer. I didn't meant to say scammer. Autocorrect, sorry. Uh, you act like I'm a scammer. I have credibility and a rep. You already make me feel sus. You don't want to do PayPal and you don't reply back. Cause you yeah, don't reply back to me that often. And it's excuse after excuses. If you send, if I send you Google, Google Pay, I can't refund my money. So it, and you only have 75 followers. So you wouldn't be losing anything I would. So basically I was telling him like, yo, I'm not gonna send you Google Pay because if I get screwed, you don't send me the shoe, I'm done, you know? And if I do complain about him, this dude only has 75 followers. No one's gonna know who he is. Like no one's gonna sh shut his stuff down, you know? I mean, who, like imagine if someone steals a shoe, I'm not protected at all. It's okay. I'm not trying to piss you off, dude. I'm, on, I'm not a scammer either. I am joining the military. I was just trying to be fair on both sides. From the beginning, he just gave me the heebie-jeebies. Like, honestly, he just kept giving me excuse after excuse. He kept wanting me to pay Google Pay. I was like, what? I never done that before. If any time I ever make sneaker deals, it's either through Venmo or mainly PayPal or Zella sometimes. But I will only pay Zella, Cash App, or Venmo if I got the shoes first. I'm not doing anything else. So recap, I send him the money on Friday. Uh, this was on like July 3rd or something like that. Uh, I was hoping he can ship it out on Saturday, which would have been July 4th. I should have thought about that. I figured that, yes, uh, all the postal service and all that stuff, shipping, everything would be closed. So, anyways, send them the money on Friday. He has my money now through PayPal, $280. Then he hits me up on um, Sunday. Say, hey, bro, I'm sorry I couldn't get back to you yesterday because I was asking him, yo, did you ship the shoes out? Things have been crazy uh, right now. I end up having to work was gonna have him ship yesterday, but then I remembered it was July 4th, so I'll be doing it tomorrow. 
So also, I rarely check my Instagram these days, so I apologize for the late response. All love. Cool. I, you know, I figured that because he's always been late to respond to me. He hasn't been going back and forth with me. He takes a while to freaking reply. Anyways, I asked him, can you ship tomorrow? Yes, sir. I was going to I was gonna go yesterday, but they're closed. Cool. I just hearted it. Monday now. So I gave, I paid him Friday, Saturday, Sunday, nothing, all right? Didn't talk to him Saturday or Sunday. Now Monday comes around, around the morning. I usually, most people that I do business, they ship in the morning. I said, hey, let me know when I can get that tracking number. That's what I just said. And then a couple hours go around, question mark. A couple more hours, hello? A couple more hours at nighttime, question mark. The next day, hello, question mark. And then I said to him on uh, midnight, yo, let me know when I can get the, the tracking. The next day, I'm being very patient. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Hello, a few more times. Hello, why aren't, and I, then I said to him, hey, why aren't you answering me? This is really bad business. Because the whole time he kept saying, I don't do business like that. He's trying to do business. He has a rep. He's going to send me his freaking ID for crying out loud, right? And to me, to me, I posted even on my story. I'm like, yo, what is going on, bro? 2020 and people are still freaking scamming during this pandemic. Are you serious? Anyways, and then I just got fed up with it. I just, I just mentioned him just to kind of scare him, just to see what he'll say. And I said, hey, filing a report. This is filing a claim. This is ridiculous. Still haven't got to respond. Still haven't got to respond. And then I checked his uh, his IG. The dude freaking blocked me. Like seriously, dead ass, this dude freaking blocked me. I Like that's some petty stuff going on. For $280, you're gonna block me, bruh? Like, um, I should've just backed out. Should've, I should've never went with it, like I said, you know? But I just got too comfortable and I wasn't too alert, you know? But now, you know, this experience here, it did teach me a lot. It put me back on my toes, put me back on alert now. So now when I do deals, I do ask for pictures. Because at first, I didn't even ask for pictures for crying out loud. Usually, I'm like, yeah, just I just figured everything is always safe. And once I get them, then I'll, you know, I can send you the money and, and check them. But when I do get the shoes in hand, yes, that's when I do my all legit checks and stuff like that. You know, because I'll still show it on the video. But anyways, guys, I'm just, I, this is probably going to be, I'm going to probably make this video into a part two, you know, you know. Cause I'm in the verge of trying to get my money back, and I'll let you know how I put all those steps and in, in everything. But just right now, I just, I just, I just never thought that like a follower, someone that follows me or, or a subscriber, would try to scam me. Like, what? I've, you know, I always felt like, hey, I have a platform. Why would you want to try to scam me? You know what I mean? Cause I can totally, you know, whatever. But hey, it is what it is, man. Got scammed. You know, sucks. I uh, hope no one out there gets scams. I trust me. I get a lot of DMs of people tell me how they got scammed. And yeah, man, getting scammed sucks, dude. No one likes that feeling, man. No one wants that feeling to get got, you know? Seriously. I'm probably going to make it too. I'm going to follow up on this and tell you guys exactly how everything, like about, uh, you know, trying to get my money back and stuff like that. Because I was like, bro, this is, it's ridiculous, man. Like, seriously. Seriously. This is so ridiculous. But hey, it's 2020, guys. It is 2020. But hey. It is what it is. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, stay tuned. I'll have a part two or something like that about, you know, getting scammed. Even though, thank God, I did pay for them in, uh, in PayPal. So I feel like i kind of safe. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But, hey. Anyway, guys, uh, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at GermanChris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Peace.